Hello everybody, thank you for watching Mikey Talks. I'm your host, Mikey Lennon, and today I'm going to talk about this post I seen on Instagram earlier. And the reason I'm going to talk about this post isn't because of the post itself, the post is fun, but I read some of the comments and I wanted to kind of just talk about the comments. And so the post is about Joe Jonas and his girlfriend and how his girlfriend is taller than him, which is not a big deal. But through the comments, you get a wide range of opinions and stuff, so I wanted to talk about that. And, so, and I separated them into different categories. And the categories I'm going to talk about is um, insecurity, the jokes about his height, uh, talking about his money, um, how height does not matter, and the preference or preferences that people have. It is socially acceptable to make fun of short guys, to body shame short guys, to make them feel bad about their height. It's perfectly okay to make a short guy feel bad about their height. It's perfectly okay to make a short guy feel very insecure about their height, make them feel like less of a person, make them feel less desirable. Because no one really gives a shit about short guys. And that's why it's socially acceptable to tell short guy jokes. And here are some of those jokes from that post. She's the man, he's the woman. What is he gonna do? Wear high heels? We can fix this with a ladder. It probably bothers him. Until they get in an argument and she calls him a little bitch. Simple solution, Joe wearing heels. So as you can see there, a lot of those jokes is just him being tall, at rather it's being on a ladder. Hey, why don't you wear stilts? It'll make you taller, you look like a fucking clown, but at least make you taller. Wear stilts, wear, wear high heels. Get platinum, or platform shoes from the 80s and put a goldfish in them. At least it'll be like three inches taller. The thing is, it's just so stupid to make fun of someone because of their height. And I've been made fun of because of my height as well, and it used to make me feel very insecure. It used to make me feel like less than undesirable, like I would be nothing in life because nobody wants a short guy, so I want to have kids and a family, but I'm never going to have kids and a family because no girl wants a short guy. That's not true. And to all the people that tell a whole bunch of short jokes and feels like it's okay to make someone feel bad about being short, and for everybody that it does, it's not just short people. For anybody that body shames someone and tells jokes to make people feel bad about themselves, you could go fuck off, man. And also, it just shows me that these people, I feel like it comes down to insecurity because when people are insecure about themselves, they try to take out on others, try to make people feel bad. And that's what I notice is when people start talking to me about being short or trying to be make me feel bad about being short has nothing to do with me being short and being less than it shows me that they're insecure about something so they're trying to take it out on me and make me feel bad about being short because they want to feel better about themselves and they want to feel better about their insecurity so they're trying to dig out something that I should be insecure about or they think I'm insecure about because that's all they have on me is my height that's all they have to talk down to me about so if someone is making fun of you because of your height don't worry it has nothing to do with Really, your height, your height's okay. So that's it about the jokes. Now it's on to the money jokes because, you know, all girls want rich guys. So if you're rich, it doesn't really matter. Haha, <laughs> so awesome that she's not off put by the fact that he's 5'7 and has $25 million. He's tall as fuck when he stands on his wallet, though. So the money is what more important. Standards go out to the window when money and cloud is involved. So don't let the Disney money bother her either. I don't know them, but I'm sure he's rich. Money, dude, money. His bank account makes him six foot two. Cause his money got him looking six foot six. So yeah, there you go. You know, it's the thing where it's like girls like guys with money. I'm gonna go look uh, her up and see how much money she has. His wife, Sophie Turner, has a net worth of $8 million. I don't see where a millionaire girl will still be a gold digger trying to find someone with money and only go out with someone with money. Although it could happen, I feel like it's less likely to be about the money at that point. But also this whole thing about girls like, t uh, girls like rich guys, I think it's stupid. There are gold diggers out there that do look for rich guys because they want to be taken care of and yada yada yada. They're just gold diggers that want money. But the reality is, a lot of those rich, successful guys out there, they have ambition. They set goals and they achieve goals. They 
are good at figuring out what they want in life and working for what they want in life. They don't really make excuses about why they can't get what they want out of life. They don't sit around making excuses for why their life is so bad. If they don't like something about their life, they figure out how can they change it. They don't complain about what life throws at them. They find a way to work around what life throws at them. They fail, they get back up, and they try again. They fail, they get back up, and they try again. And that's why they are rich and successful most of the time. It's because they don't let life bring them down. They set goals, and then they try their best to achieve those goals. And when they fail, they get back up, and they try again. And that is what is attractive, is ambition, having things that you like in life, working towards what you want out of life. What's not attractive is making up excuses, complaining about what life throws at you, complaining about everything in your life that you hate. That is not attractive. And it's just easier to for people to just look at a rich guy with a girl and be like, well, it's just because he's rich, she doesn't really love him, it's just because he's rich. But in reality, more times than not, money has nothing to really do with attractiveness. It could be a bonus, but it's not the only reason why she likes that guy. And that includes the money jokes. All right, so now we're on to preferences. So we're gonna learn about preferences, people. It's just a simple preference. Some people just don't like dating shorter or taller people. Some people don't give a fuck. Stop hating on them. Everyone has a preference. I am a, already a short girl and a short guy is unattractive to me, but I never call out those couples. It's just that people aren't dating on just height. Some people just have a high preference and that's it. But people get offended and start hating on it. Which is dumb as fuck. You right though, what's on the post shouldn't really be such a big deal. If people say they want their partner to be a certain height, let them have it. If they don't want or if they don't say it doesn't matter, let it be. Stop trying to get into people's lives. Can never be with a shorter guy, which it, rather he's rich or handsome or whatever. I'm insecure about my own height, 5'8", uh, so I'm on the tall side, so I prefer guys at least my height or taller so I don't feel like a draft next to them. That's fair, I have the same height as you and I refuse to date anyone shorter than 6'2". I was the god made this height for a reason, so I know my soulmate is taller, lol, my husband is 6'4", don't, don't be insecure, you are gorgeous, wear heels. My man has to be 6'5", can't be shorter, taller the better, even though I'm 5'5", five five. don't laugh. I wouldn't like dating a guy shorter than me, and really it would just make me uncomfortable and I would like to be the exact height as him though. And some guys will like to date a woman who aren't as heavy as them, but you can't always get what you want, now can you? Why are you pressed? I'm just saying that I wouldn't want to date, date someone that is 5 foot 2. Nothing is wrong with preference as long as you don't disrespect others. So that's what some people were saying about the preference that they have and all that. It, it's totally fun to have your preferences. You should not feel bad about your preferences and you should not make people feel bad about their preferences. At the end of the day, their preference has no concern of yours whatsoever. So just let it be. Let people like what they like. And a couple of things I'd like to say about a few of these is like this. I wouldn't want to date a guy shorter than me. Um, I would like to be the exact same height as him though. That is totally okay. A lot of girls like to date someone their height or taller. A lot of girls will accept an inch or two shorter than them. Some girls don't even care about height. Some girls actually like shorter guys. It really depends on the girl. And there is nothing really wrong with it, but I have a problem with the person that replies to that. The, and some guys want to date um, women who are not as heavy as them, and but we can't always get what they want. I think it's stupid when Girls attack a short guy, and then a guy has to be defensive and talk about girls' weight. But it's just a bad um, thing to just get defensive about that kind of stuff. Just let it go, man. My man has to be at least 6'5", even though I'm 5'5". Five five. I personally find that stupid, but it's just all preference. She wants a taller guy, let her have a taller guy. And at least this one, where right? she's like, I'm insecure about my height. So I want a girl, I want a guy pretty much taller than me, or at least my height, so I don't feel like a trap. At least that girl is being honest. She is insecure about her height. Uh, like I said, just like short guys are insecure about their height, tall girls are typically insecure about their height. At least this girl is honest. Honesty is amazing, especially when you can be that honest about it. And there's nothing wrong with dating people your height and taller. But when it comes to insecurity like that, 
I feel like it's best to just come to terms with your height and be comfortable with who you are and love who you are as a person because insecurity does not help you at all. It doesn't mean you have to date shorter guys. It just means you should work on that insecurity. I was sh insecure about my height. I'm 5'5". Five five. I was very insecure about my height for a few years. But I overcome my insecurity. It doesn't bother me at all anymore. And now I find it freeing to not worry about my height. It doesn't matter to me anymore. So just overcome your insecurity or at least try to feel more comfortable with how tall you are. So that's all I have about the preferences. So this is just height does not matter. And it's what I've been trying to say this whole time is even though people have their preferences, when a girl gets to know you for who you are, then your height doesn't really matter as much. This must be an American thing because my boyfriend is shorter than me. And no one has ever said a word, nor have I had a second thought. I dated a girl that was almost half a foot taller than me. People often wonder how it worked or she and I could care less about the difference. It took me a while to embrace my height, but once I did, it gave me the confidence to seek out different opportunities. Shout out to all the women out there who aren't shallow. Amazing, you're trying to find someone who makes you happy, not trying to match with your height. Oh my god, it's like a couple of inch difference. People literally write off for their crushes because of the wrong height, but I saw a couple with the height difference in the street and I literally would not notice. I'm 5'11 and my fiance is 5'10, doesn't matter to us. We really notice anyway since we're both pota couch potatoes and sit and lie down watching Netflix all the time when, when we are together. More disturbing than a guy that's 6 foot is with a girl that's 5 foot. My uncle is 5'8", and my aunt is 5'10", and they are a power couple. Who the fuck cares about the height difference? Because, believe it or not, not everybody is judgmental. Bruh, no one cares about height. The girl taller than a guy, what's wrong? Like, I appreciate when I see this because I'm taller than my boyfriend. Honestly, so many people say dumb stuff about it. Like, it's ridiculous, and I don't understand why people care. I'm 6'3", and it really doesn't matter to me if a guy is taller or shorter than me. The fact that it has to be celebrated is dumb, and it kind of does because people are so weird with it. But, but also, it's such a small height difference, you barely notice what with these, you barely notice with these two. LOL, I mean my mom is 5'6", and my stepdad is 5'2", at best. It's really not the big deal besides the fact that she chooses not to wear heels with him. Me and my boyfriend are at the same height and it's legit the best thing ever. I love it. Men who are coming about their masculinity don't care if a woman they date is taller than them. Only when a shrimp dick energy um, are like that. Me and my boyfriend's height difference isn't that much. I think I'm like 2 to 3 centimeters taller than him. But I really don't care. He's the sweetest person I know. I just don't... I just don't get how people are like that. Oh my god. My boyfriend needs to be 100 centimeters taller than me. This is bullshit. Not surprising. Most tall women end up with shorter men. It's like 2 inches taller. Y'all just being immature. Height does not matter. If you're a tall girl, you can still be attractive. If you're a short guy, you should still be attractive. What's not attractive is being insecure about your height. And if someone doesn't treat you right, or someone tries to make you feel bad about your height, you can just walk away. Don't look back, just walk away, cut them out, find better people to have in your life. But keep in mind a lot of people that do body shame other people are very insecure about themselves, and that's why they're body shaming other people. So keep that in mind if you're ever body shamed. I'm 5 for 5, and all I gotta say about being a short guy, that when you're insecure about your height, it can make you feel like a less than, but it's better to embrace your height because... Once you realize your height doesn't matter as much as you think, it opens up a lot more happiness in life. Even though I'm a short guy, most of the girls I asked out has rejected me, but I don't think it's ever been because of my height, it's because I really didn't know them all that well, maybe they were going through a hard time in life. There's lots of different reasons why someone would reject you. I might even be annoying as fuck, I don't even know, but that's a possibility. I don't think I ever got rejected by my height though. But I've also had girls my height, an inch or two shorter than me and an inch or two taller than me also tell me that they liked me and they had a crush on me so being a short guy as you can see having girls come up to me and tell me that they like me it shows that height does not really matter all that much and it doesn't matter as much as people and the media tries to make it sound like it does there's no reason why height has to affect who you are and affect your life even though it's possible i feel like being rejected by height is kind of very rare compared to other reasons to be rejected by